Okay. <clears throat> Rodno Provincial Park here. Um, just rolling down the, the road. These cottages look pretty neat. Little bungalowed cottages. Really old. Past those cottages is the water. It's hard to see. There's a lot of marshy... There's a field there. Holy moly. Anyway. I'm hoping that there's a parking spot up here. Uh, there's a ton of cottages here. Past the, past the park people booth. So, um... It's kind of, uh... I mean, there's so many cars. What the fuck is this? Beach. Okay, let's turn in here. Apparently this is the beach. This isn't the part of beach I want to. This is this is just some access point. I'm not trying to get to this part. I want to go to the south part of this area. But I do see the beach out there, so... Um, this isn't where I want to be. I don't want to waste all day doing this either. I want to get to the spot. It's going to be quite a hike. I got a bag of wood that I bought from Sobeys. And uh, I'm going to use that because, of course, I'm not going to burn Provincial Park wood. And also, they tell you not to bring firewood from outside places, but the wood that I bought is just dry wood. There's no chance of, like, it was made in a factory type of deal. Like, they treated it and dried it out or whatever. So there's no chance of bringing, um, I think it's like an emerald, some emerald bug or whatever. It's an invasive species. They don't want you bringing that in and it ruins the emerald tree or something like that. I don't know exactly how that works. Really beautiful place out here in Rondo, though. Okay, there is parking. Yes, finally. So it looks like this is where I'm parking the car. And then I'm going to load up on my gear. And then I'm going to head to the beach and find my spot. Hopefully, 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 when the park's people, uh, hopefully they, um, they don't tow my car because I'll be pissed. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get out and gear up and get the heck onto the beach. This vehicle right here is the last person that I have to wait for to leave. Unfortunately, I have a lot of gear. Um, I have a small backpack, so um, basically I gotta wait for them to leave, and then once they do, I'm out of here. I got all my stuff packed up. There's a tent. There's a bunch of Walmart bags with my stealth sheet in it. There's my pillow right there. And as soon as this car leaves, I'm on that trail. Um, earlier I scoped, I went down the trail to scope out the, how long it would take to walk or whatever. And um, there was, a, I ran into a parks ranger dude and he was um, just kind of making some small talk about like deer tracks or whatever that he was searching for. He was just bored. So, um, right now I'm just waiting for these people to leave. And luckily I didn't have all my gear on me when I ran into that dude. Cause I would have been busted for sure. But, uh, as soon as these people leave, I'm going to start walking and I get to see the beach and then I'm going to find my spot, post that tent up and settle down. And, um, hopefully before the, it gets dark, right? So that's the plan. Let's go do this. Okay. <clears throat> These people just left. It's go time. Whoa. Fuck was that? Anyway, it's go time. These people are gone. I'm gonna roll up to a new spot that's not under a tree because this tree was dropping ice and shit on my fucking car. So it's go time right now. I'm gonna gear up. I'm, you know, video.
video when I'm done. Here we go. Alright. So I made it to the beach. This is the main area. It's fucking beautiful out here. There's the sun, the sky. The water is just over these dunes right here. Maybe get all the wavy sounds. There's just a lot of field here before the beach. I'm out of breath, man. I'm carrying all that wood and all that gear right there. And yeah, I had to like book it down that path. <coughs> so, oh yeah, I gotta take a little break, breather. And then uh, the plan is to go that way past all that, those dead trees right there. And I'm gonna try to find a spot where I can camp and view the sunset. Um, that little emergency phone tower thingy, that's where the path comes out, where I seen that park guy. So I kind of want to boogie out of here. I'm going to have a quick little break, catch my breath, and move along. Looks like somebody had fun cutting this guy down. Limb by limb, apparently. Holy moly. I'm assuming that they cut it down in order to preserve the, uh, um, well, something something to do with the sand dunes or something like that, anyway. Oh, that's my guess. Wow, is it ever peaceful out here. So, still catching my breath. I had a little break and I'm walking. I'm over, side, I'm over this cut down tree here, so if by some random chance the park dude was going to pop his head out of that path over there, I would have somewhat of cover right here, so... My plan is to keep headed towards the sunset, find a little spot to stealth out, and then uh, go from there. Okay, so I did, I noticed that someone was walking their dog. I just want to be mindful of uh, any traffic that might be going by if I'm picking my spot to stealth out. I like the looks of this area, it doesn't look like anyone really goes past here. And if the park's people have quads that they whip out on, on the beach, which I'm sure they do. I haven't seen any tracks, but if they do, you're not getting a quad past that stuff. So I think I'm going to try to look for a place tucked in back there, stealth out. And then um, get this tent popped up. So that's my stuff way over there. That's how tired I am. That stuff is heavy. And I mean, I walked pretty far. That, I don't know if you can see that, but in between those two trees, that's that cut down tree way down there. So yeah, it's not easy. I should have brought a sled and just pulled that shit, but whatever. Here we go, moving along. Okay, so basically I've chosen my spot. It's gonna be, I found a nice flat spot right here. And there's the view I got. Nice view of the beach. I can hear the waves. <clears throat> um, that's where I came from, way back that way. I'm just exhausted. I'm in pretty decent shape, and that was tough. Like, that was an entire bag of wood that I carried, plus all my gear, so... Um, I'm going to grab the machete and clear out some of that stuff and lay up the tent and move along. Anyway, so I decided that I'm not taking the, I'm not going to, this isn't the spot, just doesn't feel right, so <clears throat> I grabbed a stick, I'm using the shoulder carry method with the stick, hopefully it doesn't break, and I'm going to go pick up the wood that I left over there, because the one bag ended up breaking because it was so heavy, repile it up into this stuff, and then continue my journey that way, just to find a better spot. I did go up here a little bit, and there's a path along this way, so... Um, and I've st I still see footprints in this area, so I mean, I just want to be off the beaten path and make sure that uh, no one's going to walk by with their dog or something like that, you know what I mean? Alright, let's do it.
So I'm just walking along, trying to find my new spot. I ran into this like wall of like roots. It's pretty cool. Get a better view here. Oh. Looks like it's a toppled over tree. But it looks pretty neat. That's pretty cool. I think I might stop um, up there. Set up camp up that way. So we're set up, more or less. Uh, the stealth blanket thingy that I bought, um, they made it so that you're going to need to buy two of them at least. It's a pretty good marketing technique on their behalf. But it's sucky for me because I have this thin ass thingy and the back is exposed. It's not fully stealthy, but it's going to have to do for tonight anyway. So... Uh, Basically, I'm just going to get all my gear in there, set up a campfire, and uh, watch the sunset. Well, I guess I'm not watching it from this end of the land. It's pretty much gone anyway. It's going to start getting dark, and I'm hungry. I've just been walking all day along this beach. It's been a long walk, so I'm excited to... I'm excited to get down, sit down and eat something. I'm hungry. So, without this piece of wood, I wouldn't be walking along the beach as far as I did. Like, I went pretty far. Um, so yeah, time to set up and get cooking. Okay, so. As soon as I, uh, as soon as I calm down, I start getting cold. It's pretty chilly out here. So my supper for tonight's going to be some grilled cheese, tactical shovel, and dig a little fire pit.
Yeah, the sun is like pretty much down and my lighter ended up not working again. It's the second lighter I bought for 10 bucks at the store and it, I had to get a refund. Anyway, I got the wax fire starter stuff going, so I got this little pan. This is what I'll be cooking the grilled cheese in. Got this guy going anyway. I gotta save enough wood for the AM because I got some eggs and bacon. I'm just chilling on the beach with the campfire. It is pretty cold. My fingers are just holding this device. My fingers are kind of cold, so. <laughs> I'm going to warm up and get this guy cooking.
almost lost my utensil. I'm gonna cook this stuff up and get in that tent. I am cold, just cold. So I'm just cooking up my uh, grilled cheese on the beach. My phone shows emulates the sky as being bluer than it actually is. It's actually darker than that in person. So my fingers are really cold holding this device. I'm just gonna cook this up, eat my supper, and settle down. Get some sleep. I'm exhausted from that walk. 
I'm hoping that uh, the park rangers don't see this fire. Out there in the distance, there's some uh, wind turbine thingies that harvest energy from the wind. Um, you can see the blinking lights on those. There is a community out that way that may or may not see my fire and report it to the park rangers, but um, I dug it about half a foot deep, so I don't know. should be okay. It's not going to be on for much longer. Right after I eat, I'm going to put this fire out and save the wood for my breakfast. <clears throat> Can't really see the tent. I left the door open because there's literally no bugs, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, so <clears throat> I uh, it got dark pretty quickly. It, I spent actually I spent a lot of time finding the spot. Um, like I said, I just walked and walked along the beach until I found the spot, basically. Um, so um, I ran into a problem with my lighter. Uh -oh. Speaking of problems, yeah course um anyway i ran into a problem with my lighter it wasn't working but i did manage to get it working just enough to get the, the fire starter stuff started so that was good um yeah so now i got my little piece of firewood as my table because if i set the hot pan on anything else it will burn it as I found out right here with this Walmart bag, which isn't good because I need every bag that I have in order to get my gear back, but I think I'll manage. Um, so for now, I'm just going to enjoy my um, poor man's grilled cheese, which is like cheese whiz grilled cheese. Um, it's processed stuff. Other than that, this is the tent. It's like a two-person, pretty much a one-person tent. Um, let's see if I can get the lighting right here. Not much going on. There's my pillow. I'm going to unravel my sleeping bag pretty soon. Bundle up because I am pretty cold. It's like minus two out here on the beach. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, what time is it? 7.30 I'm going to eat this food and pretty much lie down and just listen to the waves I'm going to fall asleep to the sounds of the waves of the beach and when I get up I'm going to make breakfast so um, that's about it for today see y'all in the morning Okay, so um, I fell asleep, and about two hours after I fell asleep, it got super cold, and uh, I had to call that stealth camp off. Like, I'm getting the heck out of here, man. I'm freezing. It is just insanely cold I'm walking on a dark ass beach in the middle of the night trying to get back to my car because I'm just too cold I was cocooned up in the um, in the tent and uh, I was warm but the cold eventually got to me and now I'm holding this lantern um, walking down a stony beach to my car I can't see nothing on the video but I'd imagine it's just black um, that sucks two fails in a row but I mean that's the thing um, when you're dedicated you just keep going keep pushing forward don't let the 
past mistakes hold you back. Just live with it and push forward with anything. You keep at it and you get better at it. And you'll get, uh, you'll eventually succeed at anything you set your mind to. I'll, I'll be honest, this is a really creepy experience. Walking down this beach like this, I'm not really worried about wildlife or anything, but it's just creepy nonetheless. I'll shut off this. I shut the lantern off. I can see like a like a red line on the horizon in the water. I don't know if that's visible on the video or not, but that's kind of neat. Um, anyway, I'll uh, touch base once I get to my car. My fingers are freezing. I got to get my glove back on. Oh, maybe I'll pass this part first. I don't think there's any hard terrain. I think it's just beach from here on in. So, just keep going here. I'd imagine that I have a parking ticket by now. But we'll have to see. All right, I'll touch base when I get to the car. Okay, so there's like this black... Holy oh, fuck, man. Fuck's sakes. There's like a creature in front of me. It's like black. It's like the size of a skunk. I really hope it's not a skunk. But, uh... I can see the I can see the reflection of my uh, my uh, lantern off its eyes. Um, it kind of stomped its feet, so I'm guessing it's a skunk. So I'm gonna fucking stay back. I'm not trying to get sprayed. Oh man! Pick up my glove here. Ugh. It's gonna try to whip stones at it. Maybe it'll scare away. Oh. Yeah, he's jumping around. Holy man. Fuck sakes, dude. Oh boy. So he's like, he was like jumping up and down. I don't know what the heck. Ah, this is what I got to deal with, eh? Well, I'm on my way out of Rondo and there's a deer right there. Just running past. That's pretty cool. I almost literally hit that. That's a doe, there's two of them. Holy cow. There it is there. Wow. There she is. Holy moly. She was just trotting along and then she just walked in front of the vehicle. I just had enough time to pull out the camera and start recording that. Anyways, I'm out of here, man. That was insane. Um, I totally underestimated the, uh, the temperatures. I was freezing. So I was laying down. Um, I was all cocooned out inside of my sleeping bag. I just finished my grilled cheese and um, yeah, it just got way too cold. I had to call it off, man. That was insane. I was freezing. So <clears throat> I'll explain what happened. So in the middle of the night, basically uh, I got up freezing. I had to pack up all my stuff. Um, yeah. 
not a fun scene. Um, I'm walking along a dark ass beach with just this little camping lantern. I run into this little, um, I'll turn my light on so you can see my face here. I ran into the, I run into this little creature. I don't know if it was like a, um, like a skunk or something, but it was like, as I walked up to it, my, the reflection of my light bounced off his eyes. I could see him and I'm like, oh man, I didn't want to get sprayed for one. I didn't know what the heck it was. I was startled. Um, and, uh, to be honest, a little scared, like running into some weird creature in the, like on a black beach in the middle of the night. It's not, fu not a fun scene. Anyway, um, so I started just kicking stones to kind of scare it, not to hurt it, obviously just to scare it. And he was like jumping up, jumping, like doing a backflip. I don't know what the heck he was doing, but he was jumping up and, um, and, uh, yeah, eventually he did leave. Um, and then I just kept going along the beach. It was super hard to find the path to get to the, to get to my car because, uh, the only thing I had to know the path was there was to this, um, little tower and I couldn't see nothing. So I shut off my lantern in order to let my eyes adjust to the darkness. I still couldn't see it. So I spent a lot of time trying to find footprints in the snow for the, for the people that were walking the path. Eventually I found them, found the car. I'm good now. I'm headed back. I'm going to sleep. I'm tired. Um, that's two fails in a row. The second fail was the, honestly, I called that one off because the, uh, it's just not a good idea in a national park and they closed the park down with a with the barrier at night so I wouldn't have been able to get out anyway if something like this would happen so um in any event until next time um hope you enjoyed the video take care stay stealthy